Welcome to a Datum Systems video tutorial. Today, how to download and install your NVIDIA graphics drivers. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to check on the current status of your graphics and emitter drivers, how to find newer drivers, how to install them to your computer, and then how to test that the process worked. So why do you need to update your graphic and emitter drivers? Well, a correct graphics and emitter driver bundle allows you to see 3D on your enabled monitor. If you cannot see stereo images in your program, look at the emitter device. Does it show a dull green or even red rather than a bright green? Perhaps you have ghosting or image refresh issues. You have a new computer or you want newer drivers. Or sometimes when Windows performs an update to your computer, you may find that the drivers need attention. Our first step is to check the current drivers. If this is the first driver installation to your computer, the screens I show may not match. The first step is to open the Device Manager from your Start menu. Here is the menu for those who are installing for the first time on their computer. Scroll to Other Devices to see NVIDIA Stereo Controller. Notice the yellow caution triangle. It means the computer knows that the controller is there, but that it has not been installed. Double click the stereo controller to bring up the properties menu. Under the general tab, you will be prompted to update driver. If you do click that button, the computer will search its drives for a file that isn't there, or it will go online. We are going to ensure that the correct drivers are downloaded by going to the website itself. Therefore, ignore that button. For those who wish to update their drivers, we need to check the version numbers. The graphics driver information is under the Display Adapters drop down menu. Bring up the properties information by double clicking the NVIDIA driver file and clicking the Driver tab. Notice the driver version number and the date. Specifically, we want the last five numbers of the driver version, as that is how NVIDIA references their drivers. Now, if you're organized, you will copy those numbers and add them to a handy spreadsheet where you keep the list of all the updates you've performed. In my case, I have version 34817. Ignore the decimal, as it does not match the location on the NVIDIA website. This driver has a date of 522, which I add to my spreadsheet as well. Now we check the emitter driver version. Again, if this is a new installation for you, you will not see this part. But for the rest of us, go to the Universal Serial Bus Controllers drop-down. Look for something called NVIDIA Stereoscopic 3D USB Controller. Double-click that to open the properties. Click on the Driver tab to see the version number and the date as before. And again, copy those last five numbers to your spreadsheet. I have emitter version 34709 with a date of 1213. Now the reason I add these numbers to a spreadsheet is so that I can easily check the version numbers. Now while they may not be the exact same number, I know I want the numbers to be close enough to ensure that they will allow me to see in 3D. If these numbers are wildly different, say 35,000 or 25,000, then that suggests that I did not install the graphics driver when I installed the emitter driver, and therefore I will not see stereo imagery. We'll do a proper installation to fix this. Now, let us go to the NVIDIA website to see what options we have. Go to NVIDIA.com and mouse over the Drivers drop-down menu. Click on All NVIDIA Drivers. Now, I look at this driver download menu often. Therefore, I allow my computer to save cookies, so I don't have to fill this information in each time. You'll enter the product type, the series, and product name from the drop-down menus. Enter your operating system. Notice that I have Windows 7, because Datum does not recommend Windows 10 for now. Once your information is in, go ahead and click that Search button. So this will bring up the newest driver version. In this case, it is 35435, released on 1020. 
I'll compare that to the already installed versions as listed on my spreadsheet. And because I'm going to install this one, I'll add that information to my list. Now, if I decided I do not want this version, perhaps I know an older version works well, or I want a driver common to all the other computers in my office, then I'm going to go back a screen. I will click on the Beta and Older Drivers option. Again, my driver information populates these menus. I'm going to click on the Recommended slash Beta dropdown and select the Recommended slash Certified instead of the Beta versions. Click Search, and I'm going to see every option offered over about the past year for this particular product type, including the newest one, which is listed first. If you know that driver release 340 is what you want, I'll go ahead and select it. I'll collect the newest one. Now click the Download button. Choose Agree and Download, then save the file where you need to. I usually save it to the default location. Now depending on your download speeds, this process will take anywhere from about 5 to 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes, and my NVIDIA download bundle has been downloaded to my computer. Now we can install them. Find and click the executable file. And this next process will look odd, because the program is going to make the screen flicker, it's going to grow, it's going to shrink the display. And if this is a new installation, it will probably prompt you to restart the computer. This whole process should take no more than about 5 minutes. Go ahead and click Run and choose your extraction path. I'll accept the default path, and then I'll click OK. The program extracts the files and saves them to your computer, and then checks that the two drivers and the computer are compatible. Now accept the software license agreement. This now brings you to the two most important buttons you will press in this entire installation. The first is to select Custom Installation rather than the Express, despite that being the recommended option. You must allow the computer to perform a clean installation provided with the Custom option. Click Next. The other important button is the checkbox by the Perform a Clean Installation. By doing so, you ensure that the computer can install both the graphics driver and its associated emitter driver, which were downloaded in together in the previous step. This will all but guarantee that you will see stereo on your monitor when we are finished. And you can also check here that the drivers you are about to download, or the ones you have downloaded, are the ones you want installed by comparing them to the numbers in your handy spreadsheet. Compare the current and new version numbers of the graphics driver and the 3D Vision Controller driver. My values are correct, so I will update the numbers for the emitter, which will be 35265. The Clean Installation option will take your driver settings back to the default settings. That means anything you customized or any unique profiles you created will be lost. But we will fix this after the installation is complete. Remember, if you do not select the clean installation, chances are very high that you will not be able to see stereo views in the end. Click Next. Now the install process begins. Be prepared for flickering and black screens. This particular part should only take about a couple minutes. Success! Check that all the fields under Status say Installed. Of course, if one of the items says not installed or failed, you'll have to rerun the installation. Double check that the versions that were installed match those that you wanted by comparing them to those on that spreadsheet. I see 35435 is there, as is 35265. Close the installer window. Now, finally, we need to update the profile information that was set to default during the installation process and check that the install drivers work against a stereo image, such as one in Summit Evolution. 
So right click anywhere on a blank spot of your desktop and scroll to NVIDIA Control Panel. Change the resolution type, which is under the Display drop down menu. Wait until both your screens appear in, in Step 1 and select your 3D screen. Now in Step 2, I want to make sure that the refresh rate is 120 Hz. In my case, that's the fastest option I have. If you have faster rates, say 144 Hz, I recommend that you first choose 120 Hz to make sure it works. Once it works to your satisfaction, you can return here to increase that number. Select 120 Hz, click the Apply button. and then accept the desktop configuration changes. Now we're going to manage 3D settings under the 3D settings drop-down. Look under the global settings tab and make sure the base profile preset shows. Scroll toward the bottom to find stereo enable. This is turned off during the clean installation, so turn it back on. Directly above that is the Stereo Display Mode, which shows the default onboard DIN connector. We have the NVIDIA 3D Vision option to select now. If you do not see that option, or if at the end you cannot even see Stereo, try another NVIDIA option here, or failing that, any of the top four options. It is very unusual to not see any NVIDIA options or to not have success with any of the top options. Despite all these options, you cannot see this stereo imagery. Please contact us at support at datum.com so that we can assist you. As I do have the onboard DIN with NVIDIA 3D Vision, I will click that now. Once you make your selection, hit Apply. And then I will minimize this screen until I know everything works as I expect it to. So now I'm going to bring up a Summit Evolution project to test the 3D. Now on this tutorial screen, you will not see 3D, but if you have your 3D glasses on and your own project open, you should be able to see stereo. Your emitter should glow a bright green. If you do not see a bright green emitter or stereo, then somewhere along the way you had problems with your installation. or Perhaps you tried to install the drivers to a Windows 10 operating system. From experience, and from noting the NVIDIA.com requirements, I know that Windows 10 does not work with the drivers to show stereo. But if you have your glasses on and can see 3D, go ahead and move your 3D mouse around the scene, changing the Z values. If this works, congratulations, you have successfully installed or updated your NVIDIA graphics drivers. Thank you for watching this Datum tutorial. You can find more videos on our website at datum.com. If you have any comments or questions on this training video, or if you want to suggest topics for future training, please contact us at support at datum.com or from the contact information on your screen. We post lots of great tips and updates on our social sites, so if you do not already follow us, please do. We also have a monthly newsletter, Control Points. When you sign up, you'll be the first to learn about our software updates and gain immediate access to our latest videos. You can sign up for Control Points at datum.com forward slash control points. Thanks again for joining us.